hi guys in today's video i'm going to show you how i stretch my hair without heat using the banding method you see me here with an old pair of stockings so if you have an old pair of stockings or new ones that have stretched out or have had some sort of damage like this one which has a hole and it already ran yeah so just grab it i'm going to show you how you can make use of your stocking even though you're thinking ah this thing was just new and it has run no just grab it and also grab a pair of scissors and let's do this just properly lay down your pair of stockings and make them really lay flat and using a tape measure just measure one inch and that's what you'll be cutting one inch apart now depending on how stretched out your stocking is you may need to cut it at 1.5 but if it's really nice and tight just do one inch because it may bring a problem when it comes to stretching it out into a band This whole process might feel tiresome but trust me it's worth it so just take it and stretch it out into a hair band now this qualifies as an ouchless band because it doesn't have that metal thing that snags on your hair so that's why i re really like this band because it's ouchless and it's smooth on your hair so no snagging on your hair and causing breakage So I saw this technique on YouTube years back but I can't remember who did it. I've been looking for the videos but I haven't seen it. So if you know please put it down in the comment section. So this is what each leg gave me. And guys make as many as you can because banding does require a lot of bands. This is my shrunken wash and go that I'm going to attempt to stretch using the banding method. And starting off with water so that my hair can be pliable. Grabbing some oil and I use any oil will do. This is avocado and sunflower oil. Then I squeeze it into my hair. I squeeze guys, not rub, squeeze. Then I grab a section and start twisting. The reason why I twist before I start banding is because I do want to have some texture after the banding. So I do twist to get some texture. Then I start banding. So this is how it looks it doesn't have to be perfect and i did realize that i needed to add another third band just to go a little bit lower and i will do that uh, later you'll see so here i put some water and then some product you can use any product a gel you can use a styling cream just depending on how much hold you want and how the final outlook you want it to come out Then I finger coil the ends of my hair just to give it a more natural look. I was feeling like putting my normal rollers but then I said let me give you some variation and do a finger coil. So this is how they look like when I went back and redid them. The finger coils look way better. Now you may be tempted to use the upper part of the stocking to secure your hair but no no no. Grab yourself a nappy happy satin bonnet. 
to protect your hair at night and to secure your hairstyle the next day. It's the next day and I always make sure that I do a hot shot with my blow dryer over my bonnet just to make sure that my hair dries up completely. When I'm taking out the bands, I just slide them out of my twist. And this is the reason why I put oil before so that my hair becomes lubricated and some of the oil will transfer to the band and that's okay because now it's easy and smooth enough to slide off. So I did realize that my hair was still damp so I decided to wear my bonnet just to protect it from direct heat then I did another 10 minutes with the blow dryer these are all the bands that I used so it's kind of like half of what I made and the hair is not is like 90% dry not completely dry which is okay because I am about to manipulate it into a uh, shape so that's fine that it's still um, damp So taking a peek, I do lift the roots just so I can start shaping my afro. Shaping your yeah, afro does take some time, so I do suggest that you be patient and just shape and shape and shape. So this is the final look i hope that this video helped you in one way or the other i hope you got some tips and don't throw away your stockings guys they can come in handy i know they've helped me throughout the years and it's a very uh, outless way of taking care of your hair with minimum to no breakage so guys see you on the next one